All right, here's a little video about how to do subtraction a much easier way than they teach you in school. None of that borrowing stuff. All right, we'll take two numbers. All right, we're going to subtract 78 from 152. What I'm going to do is work in reverse. I'm going to go up this way and ask myself the question each time, what plus 8 equals, since 2 is smaller, I'm going to say 12. What plus 8 equals 12? 4 plus 8 equals 12. And since that was a 12, I'm going to put a little 1 down here in my next column. Okay, 1 and 7 is 8, plus what equals 15? Well, 8 plus 7 equals 15. So there's my answer, 74. Let's do a bigger problem. Okay, we're going to subtract this number from that number. All right, there may be a lot of borrowing because most of these numbers down here are bigger than the ones up there. So, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it the easy way, in my opinion. What plus 9 equals 18? 9 plus 9 equals 18. Let's bring my 1 down. 1 and 2 is 3. Plus 3 equals 6. Okay, there's no 1 brought down because we just went to 6 here, not 16. All right, now we start our procedure again. What plus 6 equals 14? Uh, 8 plus 6 equals 14. I think that's right. All right, bring our 1 down. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 5 more is 13. Bring my 1 down. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 2 more equals 12. Bring my 1 down, 1 plus 0 equals 1. So there's our answer right there. All right, you want to see one more? Here we go. All right. What plus 8 equals 16? 8 plus 8 equals 16. Bring my 1 down. 1 plus 8 equals 9. No 1 is brought down because that was not above, you know, it's just 9. It's not 19. All right. What plus 4 equals 11? 7. Bring my 1 down. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 5 is 13. Bring my 1 down. 1 and 8 is 9. Plus 3 is 12. Here's my answer. Hope that helps you do subtraction a little bit faster than they teach you in school.